something a little bit less academic that I like to do. I am a big fan of bad movies. Um, I have watched all six Sharknado movies. Um, oh. And I am currently on my second run through of them with my friends. <laughs> I'm originally from Brazil, um, but I've lived in Minnesota for the past six years. Um, and in that time, I lived in kind of a rural part of the state. And I came to the College of Liberal Arts because I knew that there was a lot of interest in research in, from my end uh, in the liberal arts, and also because I knew there were opportunities in CLA to do that. My first research experience here was with the DFRAX program, which is the Dean's First Year Research and Creative Scholars program. And so when I was admitted to the University of Minnesota, I received an email and they said, um, you've been selected for the DFRAX program because you've expressed an interest in research. Uh, so I jumped at the chance and I quickly, well, filled it out to the best of my ability, the form that they sent. Um, and I mentioned that I was interested in political science research and I was and continue to be interested a lot in um, the Supreme Court and that sort of thing and U.S. government too. Um, so then they replied to me and they said, well, you found this professor whose interest in U.S. government kind of aligns with yours. And so I ended up conducting my research with Dr. Andrew Karsh. Dr. Karsh's research uh, on his level focuses on federalism in general in the United States. So the tension between the federal government and the state governments in the United States, which has existed throughout U.S. history. Um, and so my part of that was looking into the, what happens and why states decide to contradict federal law, which happens a lot more than people might realize. The skills that you learn when you do research are honestly really, they transfer really well to other subject areas. So time management, critical thinking, um, problem solving, these are all skills that you, students really develop when they do research. And they transfer really well to classes in general, jobs and internships. And so when I talk about the work that I do in student government, for example, or the work that I do um, as an intern, hopefully. Um, that is all tied back to what I learned through my research. Last summer, while I was taking Arabic here, um, I was approached by a friend of mine in my class, and she said, there's this opportunity in student government to be a representative to the Board of Regents. And I said, there's no way I'm going to do that. <laughs> uh, the application is due the day before the final for this class. I'm not going to submit it. But she really told me a lot more about what the work involved and the way that the Board of Regents and that student government in general affects day-to-day -day life on the University of Minnesota campus. And so I became more and more interested. And by the end of the week, I was ready to apply to the position. And so I did. And the student government um, people that reviewed my application called me in for an interview. And so I went in and I talked about my research and how my research has, has given me the skills to read large and cumbersome documents closely to find what is important about them, how I am familiar because of my work and research with how to manage my time accordingly and make sure that I can get through these documents and how my critical thinking skills that I developed in research also allows me to ask questions that I think would be effective, especially at promoting student interest before the Board of Regents. And so they uh, selected me from the pool of applicants, and I'm really happy to be doing that work right now. I became a political science major because I felt throughout my life the effects of politics and how they change on me directly, in particular as an immigrant and someone who had to really move around a lot in part because of political decisions. That was something that really affected me. And so I have always kind of had an interest in politics. And then following the um, shooting at the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in February of 2018, the movement that the survivors of that tragedy created was really inspiring to me. And that led me to get more involved in politics. I reached out to the League of Women Voters. I organized a voter registration drive for March, a month, about a month after the shooting happened. And uh, we registered 50 students in my school to vote, which ended up being about one third of people in my graduating class. And so from there, I came here. And originally, I really knew I wanted to do research, but I didn't really know how quantitative research worked in political science. So once I had this opportunity in the DFRAX program to do that, I really took advantage of it because I wanted to know more about how 
quantitative analysis in political science really works. And so that was really eye-opening. And f since then, I've really kind of been looking for more opportunities to be more involved in quantitative uh, research in political science. I think one of the advantages of the liberal arts is that when you are a liberal arts student, you have your major, but that's not necessarily what's going to determine your future. Uh, the classes you take are in a variety of areas that some of them and a lot of them are in your major, but some of them aren't. And so um, during my time here, I've taken advantage of that. I've taken classes within the political science major, obviously, but I've also taken classes outside of that. Um, I'm an Arabic minor as well, so I have some classes that I've been taking in the Arabic department or in the Asian Middle Eastern Studies department over the past several years at this point that are really interesting and really provide a different perspective about what CLA does. Um, CLA is such a large college and there's so many different classes and majors and minors that you can take a look at and that you can be interested in. And so to that extent, for example, currently I'm taking a class about petroleum and fiction which is really interesting and something that I never would have, that never would have occurred to me personally, that there's a genre of literature that's just about petroleum and not even just petroleum, but fiction and petroleum. So like learning about that, learning about how to think in different ways is something that I think is really an advantage of CLA and the way that liberal arts students learn. I think one of the benefits of being in CLA and being a liberal arts student is that as you learn these things, they become integrated into what you know. So when I learn about petroleum in my petroleum fiction class, I take that knowledge and then I have a class about international um, in international humanitarian law, which is also known as the laws of war. And so because there's so much conflict in the Middle East, the role of oil plays a huge part in that. And so it gives me two perspectives to look at it. One, which is like a little bit more theoretical and from a political science standpoint, but at the same time, it's like advised by my knowledge of like how people in the Middle East and how people who write about petroleum in fiction see the same thing but from a different angle. There's definitely an emphasis in learning about several different fields and kind of making that all cohesive in a sense and using these several lenses to apply that to whatever field you decide to be in. So um, it's not necessarily that a person has said you are going to need to integrate your knowledge of petroleum and fiction into the laws of war. It's more so that you know, you're in class and you start talking about the role of oil in international relations and suddenly you're like, oh, well, this other class that I've taken on this has set, I've learned this about oil and what it means to people who live in the region and what it means for the long-term stability of the people. And so you kind of take these two ideas and they really end up meshing. I, in my experience, they end up meshing really well. And it's not really that you need necessarily someone to push you in that direction. It just kind of sort of happens automatically. CLA is a place where you determine what your interests are and how you're going to translate them into a career. In terms of what I want to do after I graduate from CLA, I want to go to law school. Um, I hope to be a lawyer someday. I would like to practice law. Um, yeah, and I think that the, what I've learned both through my research and through my classes in CLA has really helped me get there. I'm Rodrigo Tojo Garcia, and this is my CLA story. <laughs> I've been smiling a lot. <laughs> yeah, you can't yeah. smile too.